Thank you, Jared. And as Jared said, I'm joined now by Rick Godley, the Lincoln Parish historian extraordinaire. <laughs> he is the director of the Lincoln Parish Museum and also on the committee for the 150th anniversary celebration of Lincoln Parish. Rick, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. It's so good to be here. Go, good to talk to you as well. It's good to have you. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic celebration. Let's start with the event uh, linking the two universities together right. and their speakers. Well, first of all, this is the 150th anniversary of the founding of Lincoln Parish, the mm -hmm. sesquicentennial. So in honor of that, part of the um, committee, Wesley Harris said, we should uh, design a coin and ha have it a commemorative coin. And uh, it's a $20 coin to sell to raise money for the sesquicentennial committee to do events throughout the year. On one side, it's black and gold. On the other side, it's blue and red. So that's to honor the uh, education, the two universities, Grambling State University and Louisiana Tech. So we sent out an invitation, uh, Ashley, and I'm finding also in my tenure as the Lincoln Parish historian extraordinaire, but director uh -huh. of the museum, is a lot of um, um, serendipity things happen, like you and your mother's house is in that is book Is in here. this book. <laughs> so people are coming to the museum and crazy things happen. For example, we had all six mayors of Lincoln Parish come and buy a coin and show unity in the community. Well, that spurred the idea to contact President Geis of Louisiana mm -hmm. Tech and President Rick Gallo of Grambling State University because this is the Lincoln Parish Museum. And both of them agreed to talk about education because uh, Grambling State University and Louisiana Tech have parallel university, I mean, parallel growth movements from the very beginning. The seed is now the roots of education. And so they both came, uh, uh, accepted to come this Thursday night, seven o'clock. We call it a Chautauqua, mm -hmm. which as um, Adrian said, it was the, it's the first version of <laughs> TED Talk yeah. in the 1880s, 1890s, which is exactly what it is. And to uh, show unity in the communities and the universities uh, because it's one parish and it's the 150th uh, anniversary and they're coming this, and it's free. And uh, it's just, by the way, the museum's going into its second renaissance. This is the second year of us trying to recover from the COVID cacophony. And mm -hmm. so things are going well. The community is supporting it. We're a nonprofit organization. People kind of presume it's a Lincoln Parish Museum, so therefore it's part of the Lincoln Parish government. No, it's a community and it's a Lincoln Parish for all communities of Lincoln Parish. It's gonna be a very interesting night. Oh. And is this Thursday, tell us the time again. It'll be at seven o'clock, but folks can come at six to do a walk around just to mm -hmm. see the progress of the museum. Uh, what's happened in the last year. We're not open yet, but I will open up for anyone at any time. There's so much history in Lincoln Parish. I know it's going to be great. Rick, it was a pleasure to have you and an honor to have you oh, on the show you, as well. You. And thank forward. you so much for the book and the, the swag. The swag. <laughs> That's right. And up next on Louisiana Living, Adrian LaFrance Wells is here to talk about the City of West Monroe's big anniversary, anniversary celebration coming up. That's after the break here on Louisiana